Yeah, this is funny. This is one little patch of grass. Uh, yeah, that little thing was tipped over on it. What? That feeder. Hey guys, welcome back to Port of Valley Ranch. Uh, I'm Zeke, and today uh, we got a, another little ibex born. And what is it? A boy, again. It's a little boy, and who is his dad? Uh, Abe, the big, the big boy. He's out of Abe. This is his mom, Daisy, and Daisy is obviously not really excited. Uh, he was born while we were at, at work earlier. We think he's probably about three hours old. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, we raise Nubian Ibex, and some of ours are uh, close to full blood, some of them are less. So, his mom over here is probably about three quarters Nubian Ibex. We think she's got some, um, some like Angora or something in her because her fur gets kind of long in the, in the winter. So, this little guy would be, you know, three quarters, seven eighths Nubian Ibex. He's got good color. Um, all those things. Of course, his dad is awesome. We know who he is. He's Abe. If you haven't seen uh, him on some of our previous videos, we got him from White Elk Ranch up in Nebraska. Um, so when this guy was born today, we walked out here. I saw him and I went over and picked him up. Obviously, um, the boys can hold him. You know, you can walk up. He doesn't know to be scared of us yet. So what I wanted to show today was the difference between when they're born and they're not scared of us uh, versus when they're just even a week old. Um, and so what we try to do whenever we are selling these or whenever we're raising these uh, to keep them gentle. So uh, Nubian and Ibex can jump eight feet and you can tell that our fence up here on the top is about four feet. So you can put him down. He's fine. What is mom getting? So our Ibex do not jump out of the fence because we keep them well fed. Um, we feed them by hand every day, not literally out of our hand, but we feed them out of a bucket in our hand. Um, they can also go down in the woods. We've got 17 acres that they can go down there and they can browse, they can eat the trees and stuff, but we feed them grain every single day. So whenever they see us, they know that that means that they're going to get food. So uh, when they come up here, they do not jump out. Now, this hay bale over here, we'll put a round hay bale out. They can jump on top of the hay bale without even thinking about it. And that's actually taller than the fence, but we have never had any of our Ibex jump over the fence. They will go under the fence because they're goats. And if you uh, read the Bible, goats are uh, always looking for trouble. So our sheep, on the other hand, they're great. They stay in the fence. Goats are always looking to get out. The grass is always greener on the other side, they think. So they will go under the fence, but ours do not jump because they are domesticated. So we walked over and picked that new little guy up without any problems. But now uh, I'm going to show you, Zeke and Kai are going to go try to get those. And they're not going to scare them too bad, but I just want you guys to go try to catch them. Also, you'll notice that uh, Kai is wearing a winter coat because why, Kai? It's like, it was like in the 30s this morning. It so. snowed today. Yesterday was 70 and today it snowed. It didn't stick, but it snowed. And tonight's supposed to get a little freeze. So obviously we've got to cover Rachel's garden up and stuff like that. But to get snow this late in the year, especially after it's amazing the day before is pretty crazy. So there's a good example of them going under the fence and you see those. So these guys, some of them were born before Easter, so they're coming up on being about three weeks old. Lola's and this one, it's like a little rabbit. Um, how old are how old are Daisies? Are they or Rosies? Are they two weeks? Almost two weeks. Almost. So by two weeks old, they are they're not scared of us, but they know they should run. And to catch them is almost impossible. So what we have been trying to do, uh, my dad raises these in Oklahoma City. What we've been trying to do is kind of market them. And what we will do is if people want them, is we will actually pull them off of their moms and bottle feed them to keep them gentle. That way they make better pets. 
because as you can see, by the time they hit a couple weeks old, if they're not uh, having daily human contact and interaction, they're almost impossible to catch. And goats, I read this uh, this week, I was studying, we were gonna speak at a church. I read that goats can go feral faster than any animal other than cats. So if they are domesticated and then they don't have any human contact for, you know, just a couple of months, they go completely wild. Um, and then they're almost impossible to raise or to keep. So um, you kind of see that with the little ones that they, uh, they go crazy <laughs> pretty quick. So we are going to get better with these little guys uh, because we're not gonna be keeping most of them. So far we have had five of the Ibex born here at Porter Valley Ranch and four of them are boys. We do not need boys here. Um, we are planning on breeding everything uh, to males that we already have in our breeding program. So all of these boys need to go somewhere else. Um, and for people watching this video, maybe it's you that want these, they would prefer not for them to be super crazy. They're always gonna be athletic. They're always gonna be challenging because they are mountain goats. That's what their heritage and their purpose is. But um, if you can contain them down a little bit and keep them in a four foot fence, then you can have a beautiful animal that is also uh, somewhat of a pet. So that's the goal. Uh, we are going to try to contact them a little bit more, get them feeding, start them on some creep feed, and hopefully they will gentle down a little bit and not be uh, insane like most of these Nubian Ibex are in the wild or even on the large ranches. So just wanted to show you guys that. We're excited about another little guy over here on the ranch. We kind of wish it was a girl, um, but we had really good luck with our sheep. We hit um, mostly female sheep being born uh, except for pepper so you know it's our year to have some male goats uh our odds are still better than kevin over at hidden heights i think i don't remember how many he had but like he was like 99 percent boys this year so um, we would like more girls but luckily my dad has a lot of of ibex that are going to be uh kidding out this year and hopefully we can do some swapping and trading so we can get some of his so that's what we're going to do so we're going to show you guys some more about these little little guys and we will see you on the next video come here little buddy come here little buddy come here hey come on come here she's just like she is when she had moses yeah or if moses and him are going to get along will you get that buck get green bucket need to feed rome No problem. You're okay. You say hi? <laughs> you see the new baby? Huh? You see that new baby?